Yo, what's up? It's the Amplifier. Uh, just uh, doing an update. Um, you know, I've never talked about my flying the paramotor and uh, the pain I have to go through. Everyone has a comment on my posts about what I should and shouldn't do. Um, so I thought I would like to let you understand the sort of pain I have to go through um, to foot launch. Uh, disclaimer, I will kill you if you put in the word, use a trike. I won't, I just don't want to use a trike. So, And also the hair, I really don't like it like this. I'm in a movie um, and they want it to be really long and uh, so it's long and it looks crap. Nothing I can do about it yet. I've got another month of this god awful haircut and then uh, they finish shooting. Okay, back on topic. So I've had a few failed launches recently. Um, people don't actually really understand this situation so I'm going to point it out. I'm not a ship pilot actually, I fly quite a lot, but the main thing I do on the post, on my uh, like uh, groups I belong to and uh, my own groups, uh, I like to share my mistakes. Um, sometimes they're not actually mistakes, sometimes they're like pull outs or um, like quick withdrawals, a change of decision. Um, basically, my legs are incredibly painful. Uh, I have extreme, uh, extreme injuries on them. I'm gonna somehow do this without my bedroom looking too ugly my room's a real mess at the moment but if you look at my knee for example if I here it's uh, oh, my wife's hair I've got a nice big scar here and you see my knee dislocates as soon as I bend it you can see this it starts to dislocate and I can put my finger into my bone that is incredibly painful and here look a split scar a split here look that's the recent one it split the other day that was really painful when I took off. Um, I've also got what we call stab lines. Um, these holes here are where my bones pushed and pushed and pushed and pushed and eventually popped through my skin. Now they open up all the time, especially when I carry my paramotor. Then we get to my left, which is, um, I've just had a, like a three, three open up. So here we go. There's the, that's from the uh, launch yesterday, took my skin off and it split. So they're incredibly painful, you see. Basically, whenever I, I fly, I fly like I'm being stabbed. Um, the pain is uh, on a level that, if I told you, just wouldn't believe it, but it is basically, I fly with an eight to 10 pain threshold. I'm somebody that always could deal with pain. I've never been a chicken. Um, I have these major injuries on my wrists, let you see here. My wrist is actually twisted and bolt, I'm buckled and you see, that's awful as well. Um, I have almost no wrist movement, uh, so like brake, put, brake lines and stuff, they're awkward, so I have to do a certain way that's not a way a normal pilot would fly. Then we can get to my other hand, this is where I punched and uh, pushed my bone through my hand when I was a boxing. Um, same one, my, my other hand has got almost uh, no uh, cartilage left. My hands are from fighting all the time, uh, I used to box. Um, so you can see, I mean, I'm, I live my life in hell. Uh, it gives you an insight into the pain thresholds that I have to deal with. And when I post my things and I get some comments like, I should try this, try that, and try the other, I don't like try to act negative to people. I don't want to comment and say stuff that maybe um, will offend somebody. But um, there's a reason why I don't do the things that, you know, everyone has basically said to me. I mean, hopefully you can see by looking at my body, you can see I live my life in hell. Um, my prosthetic legs as well, if I pick one up, they're called an elite blade. Now you try to imagine carrying this thing on a stump, right? If I put my hand in, <coughs> there you go, look, see the position straight away, the amount of weight on the end of my leg. And that pulls in the back, which creates these, these cuts and ulcers here. Um, so again, I get like stabbing in my legs. Now, when the prosthetic leg is flat, it's awesome. That's the best place for my fit leg to be when I'm trying to launch. But obviously, when you run, you go toe, heel, toe. Any person with legs. I ain't got legs. I am on my toes. I have to lean forward. I have to take the motor into a position that wants to throw me onto my face. And when I do that, my life becomes a challenge. It's not about me running or how much power or how much lift it's just about me not falling over i have to let the wing do the work 
and I try to get off as quick as I possibly can and what normally happens is one leg will automatically become slower always my left leg because I'm right-handed I'm right right right-handed that means that everything on the right side is faster uh, my left side is incredibly mutilated from my accident so I have a metal rod going right through my knee and no cartilage um, I just can't express how painful it is honestly but this might give you an insight when I land as well where everybody will put their toes down to get a nice cushion I don't get that if my knee locks straight my patella tendon will snap I got a chance of doing my cruciate ligaments um, so I have to almost land with a slight bend in my legs and just hope that the momentum is enough to push me forward if I come down heavy and I land on my heel there's no out there's no way out I'm gonna land on my backside uh, basically the wing will still let me go forward the, pro the motor will still carry me forward but my legs will slide because I only have the very corner I have this piece you can see actually where I fly look they I can't ah it's so hard to shape fucking hell there you go basically I land with my heel it slides if that slides I have no balance I get no grip if I get no grip I have no control I have no control my flight is over and this is what tends to happen to me I would say 60% of my flights I must make that final decision to lift my leg up or put it down um, for example yesterday uh, when I took off uh, it's in my recent video I took off and my leg twisted on my knee and created uh, I can't see it very clearly but it's created an issue here you see my knees are discolored now and it's grinding I can't even put it straight if I, if I bend see it wobbles that's not my hands that's the knee wobbling uh, I do all this with the passion of this sport. I, I am trying to bring to people this sport. I'm trying to show people of any ability we can all do it. Disability is not a thing. It's only in your head. Sure, we have an issue. Um, my legs are missing. That class me as disability. You might live in a wheelchair, but you, you know, I understand that people have their own ability, but my ability is to be not disabled. I simply wear prosthetic legs. So when you see what I do, and you, hopefully in the groups the people that are on my page and the group will understand a little bit more rather than making these comments uh, where deep down you know sometimes they can be quite irritating but not because you're assholes or not because you are uh, offending me or anything it's because it's like you don't think that I've actually tried this stuff first um, it's for me it's elimination by trying and the result is what I'm what position I'm at now which is I'm a pilot, I can fly, I can land, sometimes land on my ass. Sometimes I refuse to take off, sometimes I refuse to carry my paramotor, sometimes I just kite. Um, so that's where we're at. Hopefully this little insight will help you a lot um, to understand what it's like to be the ampu flyer, the man with no legs, flying a paramotor with extreme arthritis and pain. Have a good day everybody. Bye bye.